modified goodman diagram the components which are subjected to fluctuating stresses are designed by constructing the modified goodman diagram for the purpose of design the problems are classified into two groups one the components uh, subjected to fluctuating axial or bending stresses two components subjected to fluctuating torsional shear stresses separate diagrams are used in these two cases here you can see the modified goodman's diagram for axial and the bending stresses the modified goodman's diagram for the fluctuating axial or bending stresses uh, uh, in this diagram uh, it's a combined uh, static failure and static failure uh, failure by yielding this diagram is a combined form of one the static failure and failure by yielding in this diagram the yield strength is plotted on both the axis on y axis as well as x axis axis and ordinate uh the yield strength syt is plotted the yield line cd is constructed you can see here yield line uh, cd this is d and this is c that means uh, the yield point on the y axis and x axis both are joined together and this line is known as cd c is on the x axis and d is on the y axis and these are the failure points uh, of yielding or by yielding the line cd is inclined at 45 because uh, on both y axis and x axis syt is marked that is same value hence this uh, obviously the line cd is going to make 45 degrees angle to the either x axis or y axis another line af is constructed you can see here a f and a a f is constructed to join the endurance for limit endurance limit sc and the ultimate strength f so here you can see the line joining uh, endurance limit on y axis and ultimate strength on x axis this is line a f the two lines cd and af are intersecting at point b ab is the portion of the goodman's line whereas bc is the portion on the e line you can see here a to b a to b and next one is b to c so b to c is in the yield line whereas a to b is in the goodman's line if the mean component of stress is very large and the alternating or variable uh, component is very small their combination will define a point in the region bcf so it is in the region of b c f when the mean stress is very large and the alternating component or variable component is uh, very small and uh, the region is in the b c f uh, that would safely within the goodman's line but would yield on the first cycle itself this will result in failure irrespective of safety in the static failure the portion bf of the goodman's line is vulnerable portion and needs correction so this b to f is vulnerable and we need correction this is the reason to modify the goodman's line this is the reason to modify the goodman's line you can see here uh, the line passing through ox 
making an angle theta and which is connecting the endurance limit AF is intersecting uh, CD at point B and uh, with the stan theta we got it is uh, sigma A by sigma M whereas sigma A is the amplitude or variable stress and sigma M is the mean stress and uh, which can be written as stress is load by area and uh, when we cancel the areas it is uh, uh, variable load or the amplitude load divided by the mean load. So tan theta is amplitude load by the mean load. The magnitudes of PA and PM are considered from maximum and minimum forces acting on the component. Similarly, it can be proved that this tan theta is not just P and PM and it is a moment uh, in the amplitude moment and the mean of the moment. Uh, the magnitudes of uh, the amplitude moment and mean moment can be determined from maximum and minimum bending moment uh, acting on the component. The point of intersection of the lines AB and OE is X. You can see here AB and OE is the X. The point X indicates the dividing line between the safe region and region of failure. You can see here the X indicates the dividing line between region of safety and region of failure. The coordinates of X are the mean stress and the amplitude stress SM and SA represents the limiting value of the stresses which are used to calculate the dimensions of the component. The permissible stresses are SA by factor of safety and SM by factor of safety. Here, uh, let us take uh, an example here. Uh, a cantilever beam made of cold drawn steel 48 uh, SUT is 600 Newton per mm square and SYT the ultimate strength 600 and yield point is 380 I uh, shown in the figure. Uh, a force P is acting at the free end which is varying from minus 50 to plus 150. The expected reliability is 90% and factor of safety is 2. The notch sensitivity factor at the fillet is uh, 0.9 determine the diameter of the beam at this fillet section. So at this uh, we need to find out the diameter. So the dimensions are given total length uh, 150 and up to the uh, the curvature it is 100 and uh, the nose radius is uh, 0.2 diameter curvature here and uh, here it is 1.5 D and it is D and uh, now in the step 1 uh, the endurance limit is determined from the ultimate strength. Ultimate strength is 600 and endurance is half of that that is 300 Newton per mm square. And uh, the cold drawn steel, the SUT is 600 and hence we got uh, endurance uh, limit as 300 Newton per mm square. But uh, this endurance limit has to be discounted uh, for various factors. Uh, so here uh, we have uh, different factors like uh, size factor, shape factor and surface finish factor, reliability factor and uh, the stress concentration factor. So we are going to use all these factors. The Ka is 0.77 and Kb that is uh, the dimension is zoomed between 7.5 to 50 mm hence the uh, size factor is 0.85 and uh, the next one is uh, the reliability factor. For 90% reliability, the reliability factor is 0 0.897 and uh, the radius of curvature to the diameter R by D is uh, uh, 0.2 because R is 0.2 D and then the larger side to the smaller side of the dimension that is uh, uh, 1.5 and uh, from these two, uh, the Theoretical stress concentration factor is obtained uh, from the data book as 1.44 and now the fatigue stress concentration factor is 1 plus Q into KT minus 1. 
Q is the not sensitive factor that is 0.9 and the theoretical stress concentration factor is 1.44. So, this is 1.44 minus 1 that is 0.44 into 0.9 that is 3.9 plus 1 that is 1.396. So, the dynamic factor is 1 by uh, fatigue stress concentration factor that is 1 by 0.396 that is 0.716. So, we are applying uh, all the four factors, surface finish, size factor, reliability factor and the fatigue stress concentration factor and uh, now the endurance uh, limit is discounted uh, as 126. So, from the ultimate stress, 50% of that is 300. When we apply all the factors for discounting this uh, to get the uh, suitable endurance uh, limit as 126.11 Newton per m square. Step 2, the pending moment maximum and uh, uh, the load is uh, varying from plus 150 to minus 50. So, the uh, from larger diameter to smaller diameter, the uh, dimension from free end to that at the junction, uh, the dimension is 100. Here you can see this. So, here from load application to the joint here, this is 100 mm and now uh, 150 is the maximum load and uh, 150 into 100 is the uh, 15,000 Newton mm is the maximum bending moment whereas minus 5000 is the minimum bending moment. So, we can find out the mean that is 5000 and the amplitude or variability of the moment is uh, 10,000 and uh, now tan theta is uh, ratio of uh, the amplitude to the mean bending moment amplitude is 10000 and the mean is 5000 and hence tan theta is 2 and uh, uh, the theta value is uh, tan inverse 2 that is 63.435 degrees. Now we can uh, uh, use this uh, theta in the Goodman's diagram and in the step 4 we are uh, finding out the coordinates of x by solving the equations. Now, you can see here the yield strength, ultimate strength and uh, the yield strength marked on both uh, x and y axis joined together and uh, another line is uh, connecting the uh, yield strength applicable or uh, rather uh, the endurance uh, limit for the material with all the factors that is 126. Uh, this is joined to the ultimate strength A uh, and uh, this point SUT. The intersection point is marked as B and then from O we are drawing a line with an angle 63 and uh, this is intersecting the line AB at point X. So, the uh, coordinates of x are uh, one is uh, SM and another is SA. SM is uh, uh, 57.06 whereas uh, SA is 114.12 and uh, you know, we get these uh, from the uh, solution of these two equations. The first equation is line AB, A to B is the line and SA by 126.11 and SM by 600 because this line A to SUT is having uh, Y axis 126 and X axis 600 and uh, sum of these two is equal to 1 and another equation is equation of the line OX and this is uh, uh, SA by SM is equal to tan theta that is 2 here and hence the uh, SA is equal to 2 times the SM and uh, this is 2 times SM and this is SM and by solving the equation 1 we find the uh, the amplitude uh, stress uh, uh, that is uh, 114 and the mean is uh, 57.6 by applying the suitable factor of safety we will find out the allowable stresses. So, here 
the we are finding out the diameter from the stress value and SA is uh, uh, 114 and the factor of safety is taken as 2 and uh, in turn the bending stress uh, is equal to uh, pi by uh, bending moment by the section modulus bending moment is 10,000 amplitude bending moment and this is pi by 32 d cube 32 is taken upwards and we find the uh, diameter as 12.13 so diameter of the beam is 12.13 Once again, we will uh, recap this uh, solution of this uh, example. Here we have a uh, bar of two different cross sections, a load of uh, a minus 50 to plus 150 is applied uh, at this uh, free end and the length is uh, 100 mm uh, for a diameter D and uh, next 50 mm we have a diameter 1.5 d and uh, the joint uh, the portion at this junction has a curvature 0.2 times the smaller diameter small d and uh, you can see here the material is cold drawn steel with ultimate strength 600 and yield point 380 and uh, we how to uh, find out the diameter of uh, the smaller cross section small d by applying the reliability 90% and factor of safety D and notch sensitivity factor is 0.9. So we are first calculating the endurance limit. So the endurance limit is obtained uh, from the ultimate strength 50% but we have to apply the relevant uh, factors here. The factors are uh, surface finish factor, size factor, reliability factor and the fatigue stress concentration factor and these are all uh, applied. When we apply all these uh, uh, then now uh, we got the final uh, the endurance limit for the material as 126.11 and uh, next we are calculating the maximum and minimum bending moment. From the maximum and minimum we got the amplitude that is variable bending moment and the mean bending moment. The ratio of uh, the amplitude or variable bending moment to mean bending moment is tan theta that is 2 and hence we got the angle theta as 63.45. And then uh, we move to the final step of constructing the modified Goodman's diagram. On y axis we are marking the yield point strength. Uh, SYT 380 and also on the X axis and then on the Y axis we are marking the uh, ma <coughs> the SE that is uh, endurance limit uh, uh, for this material with all the suitable factors applied and then joining that with uh, the ultimate strength uh, we have the line this is a uh, AD and uh, uh, this is a C and a C U T line is intersecting with uh, the line uh, S Y T and S Y T and that intersection point is B and another line is drawn uh, as O E that is with an angle uh, 63.3 which is the tan inverse 2 and now uh, we need to find out the uh, values of uh, the coordinates of the point X which are S A and S M uh, the S A and S M uh, on the point X is on the line uh, this AB and extension and uh, we can write the equation for this line SA uh, by 126.1 and, uh, and SM uh, by uh, 600 is equal to 1 and second equation is the equation of the line OX and SA by SM is tan theta that is 2 and we can write SA as 2 times SM and this is 2 times SM, this is SM, when we take out this SM uh, within the brackets 2 by 126 that is 1 by 63 something and this is 1 by 
600 something now we got a uh, sm value as 57 and sa is two times that that is 114.12 so these are the values of sa and sm with these values we are finding out the uh, the allowable stress that is uh, uh, sa by factor of safety and that in turn is equal to m by z m is the uh, amplitude bending moment and z pi by 32 d cube is a uh, section modulus now uh, by applying the amplitude bending moment 10000 and sa as 114.2 factor of safety as to uh, we calculate the value d as 12.13 thank you